What's going on guys, this is Leo Guild Wars and I'm just going to start off with this new series I'm going to try to implement and it's this whole concept of whenever ArenaNet is going to release something new such as a dungeon or just new content and I'm just going to dive right into it and just make a video and just tag it with first look. <laughs> I'm not too sure if it's going to be a good series. Hopefully it is. I just love making series because it really gets you guys involved and I just love talking to you guys. Anyhow, let's continue with this. So I'm going to feature this video. It's called the first look of the Esther Blade Retreat Dungeon, which just released as of today. And I believe today is June 25th. And hopefully you guys love this dungeon. This dungeon's ridiculously hard. If you guys aren't up for the challenge, don't do it. I spent at least two hours with the pug group and we were just all over the place. It's ridiculously hard. But on the contrary, it's still fun at the same time. I had a blast. Like in the longest time, I haven't had the most fun in a dungeon in a while because as you all know, COF is boring path one. Everyone just constantly do that. Like they just grind. They're basically like zombies. Yeah, I said it, zombies. And yeah, it's just, I don't know, dungeon feel in this game isn't really that motivating or it's, it's you don't really feel the teamwork involved in the dungeon. So I'm glad they released this new dungeon because it really allows people to work together. For instance, when later on in the video, you'll be able to see where in a room after the cutscene, there's going to be like a surge of electricity just running across the room. It's like Broken Helicopter or some game with escaping rope where a person would like fling it in the air and then hit it down low and then everyone would jump above the skipping rope. It's it's essentially like that idea, but the electricity would surge and it would continuously like go around the room and then players would like interact like jump, jump up on the box to avoid it. It's like that. And before I went into the room, I was explaining the whole group how to do it. And it just, it really made me realize that ArenaNet's really listening to the players who are trying to implement new dungeons or whatever concept it is just to really make the game more living in a sense. <laughs> Pun intended, living story. Anyways, this dungeon, it's a blast. You're gonna get one gold as a reward at the end. It's gonna be in the form of, um, I think, bag of coins. And it has exactly the value of one gold. And you're gonna have a chance of getting the monocle, which is just like an, a glass eyepiece. So that's pretty cool. It, it comes in, I, I believe it only comes in a berserker form. So it's gonna be power, precision, and critical damage. Obviously gonna come in light armor, medium, and heavy. You get the point. And along with this patch, there's a release of the new gem store armor set which is awesome you guys should check it out it's i'm saving up my gold for it because i haven't really i don't have the extra money to spend on this game but when i do i try to spend it on the gem store but as you know i'm broke so i'm using gold conversion to gem which isn't that great but i'm saving up for these new armor sets they're awesome it really fits the theme just check it out it's in the gem store right now just pause this video and just check it out <laughs> There's not much to say. It, they finally released combat armor in the gem store. Besides the first three they released, which was the pirate, the primeval armor, and I believe it's... Hmm, I forget the last one. So obviously you know this dungeon is based on the living story. So obviously there's going to be a lore behind this. So I really want you guys to actually listen to the audio when the cutscene happens. So I'm just going to keep quiet and let you guys catch up with that. Really love the detail that ArenaNet put into this dungeon. This is a sterile research environment. Leave at once. Now with this release of the dungeon, we do know that there has been a balanced trait that did take an effect of as of today. And I know not a lot of people play warriors or everyone has their own preference of class, but I'm just going to talk about the warrior because that is my main. And we did get hit not too hard. We got a little nerf. They did nerf the 100 blades and the axe one chain skill. But as we all know, the warrior is still pretty much OP in terms of PVE. And I hope the best for all you guys. I hope no class didn't get too like hit badly about nerfs. I do know some classes did get a little buff, such as the Mesmers. They, 
or no, it wasn't the Mesmer, was it? I think it was the Necromancers. They they got like a Death Shroud skill five, I believe, and much more. And I hear good things about the Necromancers right now. It's not too big of a difference, but it's still something if you understand what I'm trying to say. Now, when I say this dungeon is really fun, I really mean it. It's not too hard, because the the problem is. Do you guys remember like the first time you guys did Aura, the Path of Aura? It was ridiculously hard, like Lupicus would just destroy you and that was just, I found that really difficult and it was more of a nuisance and frustration than fun. But for this dungeon, it's pretty much straightforward. You know what to do. You will die. For sure you will die and players would just have to work together. I know at the, like, at the last boss, we, we wiped out like, it probably took like an hour for us to complete it, but during that hour we had fun everyone would be dead except one guardian and he would just be like tanking like the two boss he would be tanking my and he would be tanking that cannon guy and then he would slowly like make his rounds across the dead bodies and try to rev us so i found that pretty funny i cut it out because the recording was probably like over two hours and then i just chopped it up into like a quick 15 minutes video so you guys don't die of boredom now i know you guys are watching this because it's a guild wars 2 video but i really want to talk about the last of us it's just a fantastic game i really had fun doing this game it's a playstation 3 game because it's only exclusively for the ps3 but i feel you guys for the xbox or the pc gamers but you gotta play this game it took me roughly 14 hours to complete it but when i did it was just a mind changer it changed me so it didn't change me but i really felt sympathy for the characters i loved each character like joel and ellie they were just awesome the actors were just great dead on so if you guys are into lore which you guys probably are because you guys play guild wars 2 and guild wars play this game it's, I don't want to give too much about it. The setting of the game is post-apocalyptic and it's just a survivor based game. If you guys are scared of horror or that kind of genre, I'd step back from this game <laughs> or you guys can cover your eyes while playing the game. Anyhow, this game is fantastic. Storyline, dead on, acting, beautiful. The ending, iffy about it. It's all based on perception, I guess, like how you interpret the ending, but I'm not going to spoil that. So. Be sure to play that game. All right, back to Guild Wars 2. <laughs> um, in terms of this update, we're obviously gonna expect more parts of the living story of the Esther dungeon, because I don't think it's the end after capturing my, I'm sure there's gonna be more, hopefully, because I really enjoy the instance. Hopefully they add more cutscenes because the cutscenes are just getting better. I remember the Logan Nor style was just pretty bomb. It was in the Dragon Bash event where they first met. Oh, what's her name? Damn it, I forgot her name. It's this Oriental, Asian Oriental looking character. She was pretty awesome. Voice acting, beautiful. So, grats for Arena for getting the grasp of, you know, making the living story more living. Just a little reminder I am working on a side project for you guys. Hopefully, it's gonna be awesome. Cross your fingers. So, what I can tell you is, it's gonna be about the Dragon Bash. I'll, I'll probably wait like a month or two after the Dragon Bash has settled down so you guys forget about it. But I'm gonna essentially just put all the cutscenes and instants together and voice over it. So I'm gonna pretend I'm the character. In a sense, I'll be role playing and I'll just make it into one. So it's gonna be one complete movie. Obviously, I'm gonna put filters to make it more cinematic look. I'm gonna, don't worry guys, I got it. I'll spice it up. I'll essentially call it the Dragon Bash movie. <laughs> cheesy so at the end of the video I'll, i will put like a little sneak preview so the intro of the movie and yeah i better shut up because the cutscene is going to happen pretty much soon gone to crud. Scarlet's gonna have my noggin for screwing this up. What now, Captain? You don't take cannonballs to get out of here alive. Either way, I'm dead. So let's wind up here comes the fun part. This part took me about one hour to complete. This was the hardest part of the whole dungeon combined. Our party, or my party in a sense, we struggled for like a good hour. We were just, 
Ah, oh, it was so difficult. So when I say it was difficult, I'll, I'll explain what happened. Essentially, you're gonna confront Mai and her bodyguard, the cannon guy. I'm gonna call him the big cannon guy. Or, wait, what's his name? Horvik? And basically what you're gonna have to do is, in the beginning, you're gonna have to DPS Horvik, or Horik, whatever his name is. I'm gonna call him cannon guy. Down to, you know, very little, because this is gonna be for the future, for the last step, final step, where you actually kill Mai, and then you can just easily kill him. But you're gonna notice that once you kill him in the beginning, Mai is gonna heal him completely. So the reason why you lower his HP is to prepare him for the final stage. Anyways, you're gonna have to DPS Mai, get her into the electricity static lightning field thing that the cannon guy shoots and that actually hurts you in the process so be careful my hits like a truck so if you tank her you're dead i mean dead you're gonna have to dps her and the hardest part is after you get her to 75 percent they're gonna teleport to like a higher elevated platform and they're just gonna rain down cannonballs and fire electricity everything you can think of and you gotta run around the premises of the area so you're gonna have to you know try to avoid the aoe damage whilst like trying to survive so that's gonna be like a minute or i think it's 30 seconds of raining of cannons like you're getting skeeted on <laughs> so i would always die there and there would be this one guardian where he just tanks everything he'd be a trooper and he'd just be revving everyone so congrats to that guy in my party i kept dying because i was a berserker i did not know this part was going to be that difficult so that's essentially the wrap up of the whole dungeon and that's the hardest part if you guys can pass this you guys are champions now before this video ends i want to continue talking about this project the dragon bash movie that i'm trying to do and i'm putting a lot of hours into this i'm voice acting and just clipping everything together i'm adding a little perception to it my understanding to the story so i'm adding a little you know spice to it so it's obviously not going to be the official lore but it's essentially the official lore plus a little spice that i added <laughs> so you know if you guys want to give me a little heads up or tips that i can include into the movie that'd be much appreciated and hopefully this movie turns out pretty good i so far only made the intro and i'm working on the script so any idea you guys give to me it might be included into the movie Without further ado, this is going to be the intro of the Dragon Bash movie. Obviously, I didn't make all the cinematic or the videos in the intro, but I kind of clipped everything together and made it look, you know, uniform. That's a wrap up for the first episode of First Look and hopefully Arena Net's going to release more so I can cover more content and just tag it under the First Look series. So as I mentioned before, I do need your help for ideas for the Dragon Bash movie that I'm trying to produce or create. So just leave everything in the comment below. I'm going to get a new mic for sure. And I'm just going to add nice little fillers in between the cinematic cutscenes that ArenaNet provided for the Dragon Bash event. All right, Leo Gilors, over and out.